Hi there, Jay Faber here for the Magnolia Wine Company here today to talk turkey and wine. Um, good way to start the Thanksgiving meal is with a bottle of um, sparkling wine, um, Prosecco or Cava or real champagne, whatever your budget allows for. We've got a um, a cava today called a Pirimata um, from northern Spain near Barcelona and the beauty of uh, cava is that um, it gives you something pretty close to genuine French champagne at a fraction of the price. Uh, most people are familiar with Prosecco. Um, I try to get people to try cava. Uh, it's a bit drier, smaller bubbles, a um, little higher quality, right around the same price. Um, so let's try this one here. Um, a very clean, very fresh, very bright. Wonderful, totally dry, completely 100% dry, sparkling wine. Perimata Cava, it's about $17, so a good deal. Um, and again, good way to start the meal. People are coming in the house and um, uh, just give everyone a glass to, to get started. Um, the one thing I should say about uh, the Thanksgiving meal is that um, you can pretty much uh, go with all kinds of different wines. And you'll see we have an assortment today, some reds, some whites. Um, some people will even stay with the sparkling wine throughout the whole meal. But um, uh, Thanksgiving especially is all about what you sort of like to drink because anything will go with this meal. Turkey is sort of a, a neutral dish and so it's the side dishes, it's everything else that that really matters. So if if you've got um, a spicy stuffing or you've got sweet yams, uh, you can certainly drink reds and whites and whites that are a little bit on the sweet side, which would be the next wine, that'll be the um, uh, Alsatian Riesling from uh, Trimbach. Now, um, uh, the Alsatian Rieslings, unlike a lot of German Rieslings, are a bit drier. Um, so let's see what this one is like today. Um, again, a beautiful Riesling nose. This might sound funny to some people, but the Europeans like to call it a petrol nose. It smells a little bit like gasoline, which sounds weird, but um, if you remember when you were kids, um, uh, well, you'd have to be as old as I am before they had those special novels. You could smell the gasoline when you went to fill up the car. It smells a little bit like that, which is kind of a cool smell for some people, maybe not for everyone. But anyway, you've got a little of that, um, and let's taste it, but I'm thinking it's going to be uh, quite dry, and I'll tell you in a sec. Outstanding. It's it's dry, but it does have some fruit. Um, um, and uh, if someone likes something a little sweeter, I would go with the German Riesling. But I'm recommending the Trimbach Alsatian Riesling. It's about $20, um, so a good a good value uh, in high quality Riesling and dry. So don't don't be afraid. It's uh, it's fairly dry. Some people like totally dry some people like a little sweet I think that'll work for both the next wine we're gonna try today is the Matanzas Creek Chardonnay um, it's always good to have a Chardonnay at the table it's kind of quintessential American uh, white wine um, uh, Matanzas Creek is a Sonoma property uh, been around for many years and um, uh, let's see if this is sort of more the bigger and buttery or about uh, you know sort of balance and and more clean so uh, you know lovely color um, uh, a little a um, uh, little golden but not too much a beautiful butterscotch nose um, uh, so I, th I think it's going to be on the richer side mm. that's great it's better than I thought um, so full flavored uh, lots going on without being super oaky but very flavorful, um, a lot of character. 
quite delicious. And again, I'm getting a lot of um, uh, butterscotch, uh, which is uh, kind of my favorite sort of Chardonnay. Um, uh, medium bodied, um, uh, be great for, for turkey and, um, and some of the other sides. Uh, so then we're gonna move to whites. We, we've got, uh, rather reds, I'm sorry. Two, two whites to start and a sparkling at any time, and then four, four reds. So we'll start with um, uh, a Nebbiolo, an Italian red from the Piemonte, which is um, uh, sort of lighter in color. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. Um, again, another medium bodied wine, which, which I tend to like because they won't overpower foods. So, um, uh, Let's see what we got here. Just a beautiful nose. It's quite floral. Um, sometimes Nebbiolo can be um, uh, a bit spicy, which is nice. And again, talking about the sides and what goes well with um, uh, uh, different kinds of stuffing, for instance. I always had a cousin that made a spicy sausage stuffing. So I always brought an Italian wine to go along with that. And so this is um, uh, GD Vira Nebbiolo. So Nebbiolo is the basis of much more expensive wines, Barolos and Barbarescos. This is about $22, $24. The other wines would be twice that price from the same producer. So there's some value here in uh, Nebbiolo. Lange is the district in Piedmont. Wow, another, another um, um, wine that's surprising me, sort of how good it, it's tasting today. I've tried all these wines before. Sometimes you retry a wine and it's not quite as good as you remember it, but this one is in fact even better. Um, Nebbiolos can be extremely dry, which is again a good thing. This is quite dry, but has a fair amount of fruit. It's floral, it's very pretty. Um, uh, next red. Uh, Pinot Noir, which is another wine that I almost always use for Thanksgiving. This year we'll do the Elizabeth Rose Pinot Noir from uh, Yumpville, Napa. Uh, screw cap. Uh, don't be afraid of screw caps. Um, um, at some point in the future, I think everything's going to probably end up being screw caps. It's, uh, um, it's good for the freshness of the wine. Uh, you can't get a, a a cork that's tainted to ruin a perfectly good bottle of wine. So again, medium bodied, um, usually uh, a bit sort of smoky. Uh, let's see if we've got that. A little bit, not too much. Um, very pretty, light color. Um, we're looking for elegance here. We're not looking for power. We're not looking for woody. We're not looking for lots of fruit. We want something that's a little bit leaner, but still interesting. Again, very pretty wine. That seems to be the you know the theme so far with the reds, as opposed to power. We're looking for more more finesse, and they'll go with everything. Um, that's what I'm usually looking for, not just with a turkey meal, but um, with most foods. I don't want the wine to overpower the the food, or the or the food to be too much for the wine. So some kind of balance. Um, again, very pretty very elegant, uh, lovely Pinot, and reasonably priced at about $20, $21, which for high quality Pinot Noir is a good value these days. Um, I could talk a little bit about the, the swirl and the sniffing, which I do. It just helps to uh, enhance the wine experience. Uh, it opens up the wine. Um, and I try not to set too many rules and um, um, uh, go overboard with, um, uh, too much wine nonsense just like to give you the straight talk I like it I don't like it and that's what's important to you too it's really what you think of it not just what I'm talking about if I like it you've got to like it and it usually starts with with having to smell good and this this one certainly does I'm gonna pour this one out and move on to the the third red which is a Cote du Rhone some of my favorite wines in this store here at Magnolia this is the Monterius um, Cote du Rhone, 
Um, again, Cote du Rhone's tend to be uh, quite versatile, wines that can go with fish and fowl and pork and even some grilled meats. Um, this one's a little bit darker. That's kind of the progression from, uh, from something sparkling to um, uh, lighter whites to richer whites to lighter reds than darker reds. So this Cote du Rhone Monterius, um, a bit darker than the first two reds. Um, uh, uh, it's going to be it's going to be richer uh, again, but without being heavy. It's mostly Grenache and Sierra. I'll give it a, a quick spin and a sniff. I do my slurping thing. Not everyone has to do that. I just sort of can't help it. Um, uh, when my kids were little um, and I would give them orange juice in the morning, um, I would see them laughing and sniffing and swirling their orange juice. So um, I guess it's a, uh, it's a force of habit. Monterius Cote du Rhone, again, a little richer than these two other wines, but, but not heavy. Beautiful color. Um, uh, purple, um, it's got some sort of uh, flowery um, uh, aromas. Um, um, we'll go with anything. We'll go with your spicy stuffing. We'll go with your turkey and your yams and, um, and anything else that you, that you can throw at it. Uh, Monterius Cote du Rhone, again, about, about $20. Uh, and the last wine, um, which is a California Zinfandel, uh, and if there's any wine that says California, besides Cabernet, which is what California wines are known for, it's Zinfandel. Um, uh, they say that the origins of Zinfandel um, are somewhere in Italy uh, in a grape called Primitivo, but um, we kind of claim this one uh, as our own. This is the Segazio Zinfandel, um, and they actually do have a family that, that makes pretty famous wines in Italy. They have a branch in California. This is also Sonoma. Um, so Zins can be big and rich and dark and earthy and all those kinds of things. Um, and let's see what this one is like. Just a, again, a wonderful nose, kind of um, a little bit earthy, a little bit spicy. Um, um, mm. Wonderful, warm and generous. Um, this would go with sort of maybe the dark meat part of the turkey um, or people who just like a bigger wine that's not Cabernet so um, a lot of flavor a lot going on in this Zinfandel uh, real high quality for about 20 22 24 dollars I think so that's kind of the lineup um, there's lots of substitutes um, but this gives you uh, a good variety of, of, of wines that uh, will sort of satisfy everyone, I think. Um, uh, so, um, you know, I, I, I wish everyone to have a, a safe and, and fun holiday. Um, uh, if you have relatives in town, um, or if you're doing a small thing, or if you're even all alone, um, uh, I hope that everyone has a wonderful holiday. And if all else fails and you are home alone um, and you're not a big wine drinker, you can always go for the um, bottle of wild turkey. You can do the wild turkey honey is what we're featuring here. Um, and uh, um, uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And um, uh, let's hope that next year we can do this in person and um, uh, enjoy the holiday. Thank you again.